obvious. I was obviously I was really proud of our guys' effort. Uh, I thought our toughness and togetherness was exceptional. Um, I knew we were going to learn a lot about our guys after coming off of Wednesday's game. And then the way we practiced the last two days, I thought we were really good. They responded well. Uh, the practices were really physically demanding. And um, I'm once again, thankful for the character of our guys. They let us coach them. Um, our leadership's good. They respond well. We can get on them. And they don't, you know, they don't put their head down. They, they listen and they fight. Today I thought we fought, certainly weren't perfect. We kicked it around a little bit in the second half. Um, and obviously beat a really good uh, and well-coached you know, Ohio State team that's going to win a lot of basketball games. So you know, the, the great thing about uh, this league is you've got to stay somewhere in the middle. You can't get too high or too low. I do want to enjoy this one. Um, but tomorrow we can't become self-absorbed with it because we got another one on Wednesday coming right at you. So it's just the way the league is. It's what makes it fun and challenging. Well, I'm certainly proud of our effort, our toughness, and, and our togetherness here today. Take questions from Brandon and Nana first before we get back to Coach. Brandon, what was the difference from your guys' effort Wednesday and today? Um, we fought hard. You know, obviously, like Coach was talking about, uh, we had a lot of toughest drills in practice, and uh, you know, we compete every day in practice. And he tells us, you know, you deserve the half of the game. So we continued our good practice run, and I think as players, we had better carryover into the game. And uh, we, we not only uh, executed on offense, you know, we, we defended and rebounded better. Brandon, what can you describe what a toughness drill is and uh, how it brought it out of you? Um, I don't want to give you any trouble, yeah, Brandon. I don't want to give you any uh, <laughs> secrets that we do, but just, you know, guys who are really physical in the drills, you know, there's, there's a lot of diving on the floor, you know, taking charges and whatnot. Just things that, you know, basically carry over into the game situations. and. Uh, you know, I think a lot of guys stepped up for us tonight as well. What's with your leg? Um, you know, I got banged up a little bit, you know, going to the hoop. You know, I'll be fine tomorrow. Brandon, in their um, two losses that they had earlier against Candace and Duke, they missed a lot of open shots. Today, you guys contested pretty much everything. How what was? How were you able to defend them as well as you were able to? Um, I think we had better pride on defense tonight. Uh, we. We usually do a good job of testing shots, and uh, we wanted to limit our shooters. Obviously, Deshaun had a pretty good game, but we wanted them to take to take a lot of shots, and he took 21, you know, to get 24 points. So that, that was basically our game plan. So uh, other than that, you know, the non-shooters we closed out and uh, invited them to shoot. And when they did shoot, we contested them, and uh, I think every guy that came in the game for us, you know, con uh, contributed in some way. Coach, talk about the rebounding. Yeah, our guys battled. You know, they battled. I thought we did a better job of blocking out, but I just thought we had a better disposition of when the shot went up. We emphasized it more in the last couple of days of practice. Um, you know, these guys will do about anything you ask them to do. So, so obviously we found the right button the last couple of days uh, to emphasize it, and they embraced it. And um, you know, man, that, that's on me. So I got, I got to figure that out. I thought the last couple of days our staff, our assistants did a good job. We were charting it, tracking it. These guys will tell you it was on spotlight the last couple of days of practice, and I thought it, I thought it helped. Uh, it, Player questions, please. No, uh, yeah, no, no, they they um, left you open, especially early on the one off the ball screen. They, they kicked it back to you. Is that a shot you expect to be open for today? And yeah, is that something that uh, that gave you some confidence as you went along? Oh yeah, I mean uh, we we knew they're going down the ball screens, so uh, the guards did a great job with you know uh, Sammy up, you know. Uh, for, uh, bringing down the, the big man to come help, and then it just popped open, and it was open. And the guards did a good job of finding me and, uh, you know, making a good pass. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all about, you know, just getting a good flow on offense, and that's what we did today. You know, we had a, a good, we had good motion. We, uh, we played very well, and I think we passed the ball very well. Dan, talk about how much more comfortable you're getting on the floor as you get more and more experience. Well, I mean, it, 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 game by game, you know, you want you start learning things every game, you start learning what not to do and what to do. So um, I think by every passing game, you know, you start, you keep learning and, and you keep doing things better, and you start learning, from, start learning from experience. Eight rebounds today, nine. What was the difference today between the last couple? Um, you know, I think just basically, you know, you have to block out. You have to give yourself the best opportunity to get the ball. It's like you got to get position yourself. You know, you're not always gonna get every ball. 
but um, you have to put yourself in the best position you know, to grab them. And I think as a team, we did that. I, I was just looking at the stat sheet. It was amazing how just all around the whole team, you know, had, you know, had made an effort to you know, get some defensive rebounds. And we knew we had to do that. You know, we, had, we can't have them, you know, uh, get us on offensive board because we knew that would make it a lot closer game. Brandon, on a day when you didn't shoot the three very well, you, you dominated the top ten team. Uh, that, that must make you feel a good shot too well. You did some things that you haven't done this year, maybe. Yeah, no doubt. You know, uh, obviously we're a team that you know can, is capable of making a lot of threes. But when that doesn't happen, you know we got to pick it up in other aspects of our game, whether it's rebounding, defense, get to the basket. You know, obviously man had a great game. He had a lot of open shots. Joe made some great plays for us. Tracy down the stretch. So you know, as long as we have guys that are contributing in different ways, you know, everybody that came in and definitely helped us win this game. Brent, did you need this for confidence? This game, this um, I think we just needed this game in general. You know, obviously we want to protect home court. Uh, I think I don't know why, but people you know, got crazy after our last loss. But you know, it's it's a long season. It's just one game. This is just one game. Uh, you know, we're gonna enjoy it, like Coach said. But you know, tomorrow's a new day. We gotta focus on our next game. Brandon, early on, uh, Tracy, the first eight ten minutes, really. I mean, his hand was in almost every play, both in the court. How important is that? Um, it's great, you know. Tracy's been playing well for us, especially these last couple of games. Um, when he when he comes out and brings that type of energy, I think it kind of picks other guys up. You know, it gets the bench going. You know, our bench does a great job of staying enthusiastic and whatnot. So when he can do that, you know, it kind of takes a little pressure off other guys. You know, people are basically focusing in on me. You know, and uh, when that happens, you know, it, it opens up areas for other guys. Brandon, correct me if I'm wrong, were we wearing the same shoes at the 43 point game? I knew someone was going to bring it up. I did. You know, I haven't worn those shoes, I think, <laughs> since that game. You know, I, I didn't want to practice, so and I, I, just, I decided to bring it out uh, for this game. Brandon, can you uh, walk us through that last play of the third train? Is that something you worked on a lot in Um, Like, Coach, I'm not going to give away any secrets, but, you know, we, we drew up a play to run for uh, Joe. And I, I kind of threw a bad pass. If he hadn't touched it, he probably would have went in. But, you know, Joe, uh, we joked at halftime, you know, Kind of stole my three, but you know yeah, he made a great place. He's so athletic. He's probably one of the top athletic guys in the Big Ten, let alone the nation. So when, uh, whenever we make those plays happen, we want to do that. Yeah, and Brandon talked about uh, there was no panic among the team. I mean, maybe the fans were panicking a little bit. You guys, uh, there was no panic at all. Oh yeah, it definitely starts with Coach Gross because he he never panics in uh, timeouts and halftime. He, he's always always level. And we just beat off there. We know it's it's long. It's a long game, long season. We you have to stay. We talk about you know you know staying staying level, staying. You know, don't get too high, don't get too low. Just keep going. You know they're gonna they're gonna punch them out sometimes. And I think they did a little bit in the second half. But you know we, we kept our ground. We didn't let one thing come out to another thing. We you know, we we, uh, we make plays. So I think we, you know it's just as a team, I think we just have that have the you know feeling that whenever something's gonna go bad, we we know we're gonna come back. So I think. You know, we did a great job, you know, not letting them, you know, overpower us when they got on the run. Brandon, do you think last year you guys could have bounced back in this way from the Purdue loss? Um, I mean, it, it all depends. You know, a lot of people like to go and try to compare the years. But, you know, our main thing is just what we're working on this year, you know. Regardless of what happened last year, regardless of what happened this, this year, we're, we're continuing to get better for uh, this season and the seasons to come. So as long as we have the positive mindset that we have to come to practice every day, you know, looking to get better. Uh, I think we're continuing to improve. Right. Go against Kraft for 40 minutes. Is it the same where you go against Kraft? Oh, yeah. Kraft's a great defender, obviously. You know, I think you know, Tracy was a little too timid with the ball. That's something we got to continue to get better at. You know, we got away with some things today. You know, Tracy had six. I had, like, five turnovers. So, you know, that's, that's unacceptable for us. But, you know, we made up for it. I think he plays the other way. We keep talking to each other. You know, uh, I'm learning from him. He's learning from me. And uh, we're going to continue to try to take care of the ball. You know, those are, are scrappy players. Brandon, talk about the defense tonight. Our defense? Yeah. Defense. Um, our defense definitely picked up, you know. We realized, you know, we were making shots early on, but, you know, just in case that wasn't happening, we wanted to uh, stop them, you know. If we scored and they scored, we'd, we'd be trading bats back and forth, and it wouldn't get us anywhere. So we know if we got stops, you know, we would be able to uh, do what we wanted in offense. You know, they obviously struggled guarding us, so that was definitely a key in this game. And all for the players? Okay. We'll continue with Coach. We'll let Brandon out of here. Kind of what life might be like this season in the Big Ten? Well, I think
think it's as deep as I've ever seen it. I've said that before, Mark. Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, you play one way one game, that doesn't mean that's automatically going to happen the next game. You know, it's not just the way it is. I mean, you, you have to have, you know, if I could bottle up that toughness we had today and play that with that toughness the next 17 games, you know, obviously I'd do that. But it's, it's delicate. You know, that, that's why each game is so different. You know, each game is different. Uh, we don't, I said all along, we're not going to define our season by one game, win or lose. And, and the guys have not done that. Um, but I, I, at the same time, I, I, I was, and you probably sense this, maybe a little bit disappointed with our toughness on Wednesday night uh, for the first time all year. And we put a couple guys on Front Street in regard to that over the last couple days. And, and they responded at a high level. You know, they did. So we got to, you know, enjoy this one today. And then tomorrow when we wake up, we better be tough again on Wednesday now. Better be tough. You know, and it's not something that's an automatic. It's not something you just, you know, turn on and off the line. I think it does start with practice, as Brandon alluded to. I think that's important. I think, think that we played like we practiced. Sure. I about these toughness drills. Uh, Tracy on the floor, Tyler on the floor, DJ on the floor. You say you like that kind of stuff. Oh, I love it. I mean, that, that's, you know, toughness plays, you know, passion, inspiring plays. You know, anytime a guy sacrifices his body, you know, to, to make a play for his team, I think that's the, the highest level of teamism. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> but the guys did that today. We've done that a lot all season. It's not like this is the first day we did it. We didn't do it as much as I would have liked on Wednesday night. And I thought that they did, and I gave the opponent credit for that. And we got back to work the last couple of days to be who we are. And I thought our guys did a good job of that today. John, in all the years that you were with them, and all the years that you've been on your own, have you ever gone this deep into a season where you've only got one guy that you can rely on to get your points for you? And how do you broaden your offense to get other guys? You talk about us, Bob? No, I'm talking about Ohio State. How, how, what has to happen? Well, besides making shots. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not there every day like I used to be, obviously. Um, I, I know this. I know they got a great staff, and they're going to try to put those guys in a position to be successful. He's always done that. I was with them for eight years. You know, he, he works really hard. I know he's competitive, and he'll figure it out. He always does. Um, have you ever been in, what I was going to ask is, have you ever been in a situation like they're in now? where they've got Deshaun and they're searching for one or two other guys to balance the offense? Um, I'd have to think back. I've been doing it 19 years. Uh, I've lost a lot of hair <laughs> over that time period. Uh, and you probably have. You know, more than likely we have. At some yeah. point in time we've seen that, you know. Um, you know, I think they've got guys that, that they'll continue to get better. That's the thing. You know, they're going to get better. You know, their guys' personnel will get better. Just the way I know how they operate culturally, and they're going to get better. I mean, they are. You know, I look at a guy like Nana, for example, Bob, to, to flip the coin to us. You know, he did some things tonight that I've seen him do in practice over and over and over again. You know, had he made that jump shot that consistently today, or in a game? Uh, a couple times. But maybe not to the level today. Am I surprised? No. He does it all the time in practice. So he's evolved. Who that guy's going to be for them or those guys for them, you know, only Coach Mata knows that. I'm, I'm not at practice every day. Ohio well, State game is holding teams to 40% from two-point range. You shoot 65% overall, 14 and 19 in the first half. What was it? Was it just shot selection? Was it their defense? What was it? I think it was a little bit of shot selection was good. And then I thought, you know, you never can underestimate field goal percentages affected a little bit skewed one way or the other if you can get points off turnovers or offensive rebound putbacks. So you may look at the stat sheet and say, man, our defense is not very good because they're shooting blank. Well, your defense may be good, but you're turning the ball over and you can't guard turnovers. And then you're getting offensive rebound putbacks after playing really good defense. And we all know it's the Hubie Brown deal. First shot, 40th percentile. Second shot, 60th percentile. Third shot, 80th percentile. It just keeps climbing. You know, so I, I thought that what I'm saying, basically, Brad, is that we got some points off turnovers in the first half that I thought ignited us. I can't remember how many they had. Maybe it was 11 at the half, and that guy.
pass out and transition, that gives you the chan a chance to have an advantage and not have to always face the half-court defense, you know. And then from there, having said that, in addition to that, I thought our execution was good when we were at the half-court. John, did you think they came in averaging 10.3 turnovers a game? They had 11 at halftime. Did you think that your athletes were good enough on no. to force turnovers? No. In fact, I said before the game, you know, they're going to take care of the ball. That's what his teams always do. We can't count on that to be something that, you know, allows us to, to be competitive or, or win the game. And uh, they, they settled down the second half, Bob. I think when they have five and a half, that's pretty typical. First half, you know, we, we were fortunate. You know, they'll, they'll probably watch them like I'm sure we do. when we, Everybody watches their turnovers, see how many of them are unforced, see how many of them are forced. And, you know, they'll work, they'll work to get better. I, I'm not crazy about our 18. You know, we had six at the half. We had 12 in the second half. I mean, we got, we got to do better than that. John, you got a little dose of the road the other night. They got a big one here. Uh, what, what qualities are going to matter when, you know, in terms of who does do well on the road in this league this year? Um, experience, toughness, the ability to deal with adversity and success, I think, is important. I think leadership is important. And I think players making plays, big time players making plays. I think that's important. Sure. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, Nana, how important is this progression oh, as, as the season goes along in the big family? Yeah, he was great. He played great. Um, he's good at both ends. He does some things on the defensive end I think people don't give him credit for. He's really good there. Uh, tonight he made some shots, helped us on the glass. He continues to get better. If there's ever a kid that deserves to continue to get better, it's him. He works his tail off. And he cares about Illinois, and he cares about winning. So, I mean, he's, you know, he loves him. You know, he's got to keep working with him and keep getting it better, because he'll do whatever you ask him to do. Even though you've seen so much toughness out of your team, was there some worry just about that continuing from the Purdue game, or did you think, I've got to nip this in the bud? No, I was just disappointed, because that's not who we've been. <laughs> You can't win some of the games that we've won in some of the environments that we've won if you're soft. You know, we've been pretty tough. We've been together. You know, we came back, we come back from 16 point deficits twice at Hawaii, two different times. Um, you know, I can't remember what we were down at Gonzaga. We got blitz to start the game. You know, came back. So we've done it before. You know, we just needed to get back to doing those things again. I thought we did that in practice the last two days, and I thought that paid dividends today. Coach, I think what stood out to me was your team's ability to withstand their runs. You never really left them back in the game once that we got to 10 or 12. Is that kind of the killer instinct you've been looking for for this team to really get Yeah, done? being even keel. You know, they're, they're good. I mean, top 10 team in the country. I mean, they're, they're going to make runs. They're going to make shots. They're going to make plays. They got good players. I mean, so you got to just stay right here. And I thought our guys, as Nana said, have done a pretty good job of that throughout the year. Yeah, what did you feel you guys needed this one? I wanted to play. Well, here's what I felt like. I felt like when I wanted, when I laid my head down on my pillow after the game, I wanted to say, like I did after we got beat by Missouri. Now, no one likes to lose. And we dinked a couple things up, and they're really good. But I laid my head down that night, and I said, those are my guys. And I just wanted to feel that way tonight, regardless of the score. And I, and I then we got back to doing some of those toughness things well. Um, I didn't think we did those as well on, on Wednesday. And when you don't do those things well in this league, you get, that's what, as I said after the game the other night, it's a recipe for disaster. And uh, today we got back to doing those things. So does it just win mean a little more considering the opponent? No. No. I mean, they're, they're every, oh, you got 18 games. I've been telling these guys from day one, every game counts the same, win or lose. You don't get double because you beat somebody or lose to somebody. It's not like, hey, you lost, so that counts twice. You know, it doesn't work that way. Every game counts the same. You know, obviously, uh, we were going to take a great effort, and we were going to have to be really tough and together uh, to play well today. And, I, and again, I thought we did that. Just to follow John, Wednesday night, you didn't lay your head down feeling well? Why well, I did, because I, you know, I had visions of guys diving on loose balls, and them getting all of them, and us not, and free throw block out. And, you know, I just, I, I didn't think we got the job done in some of those areas. And uh, that starts with me, and I, I told him I'm going to take ownership of it and help him get better. The last two days of practice were pretty demanding, as I said earlier, and uh, they responded. They got, got good leadership. Those guys, the older guys, really embraced those things, I think, in practice, and our younger guys kind of follow that. Coach, you grew up in the Big Ten country. What's it like to get a Big Ten win, and what one against that? 
Well, again, you know, it, it, it's it's a Big Ten win, and in the, in the standings right now we're one and one. Um, you know, we, we, regardless of who it's against, you know, that it helped us get to one and one, and that beats the alternative of being zero and two. Um, but in terms of the Big Ten piece, John, it, it is pretty special, I and mean, it is. You know, I've said before, I pinch myself every day. And, you know, my window looks out on the baseball field, and you see the University of Illinois on the scoreboard. And, you know, I'm, I'm a lucky guy. You know, my family's not very far from here. Um, we have people here today. My wife doesn't even tell me who's here. I mean, look like half the town of Danville, you know, out there when, I, when the game was over. So that's pretty neat, you know, that they get to share that experience because they're so close. Um, so it, it's certainly a privilege, and, and you know, it, it is special to get an opportunity to coach in this league. John, can you evaluate Tracy's game today and also where he is now and what he needs to do to take the next step? Well, obviously, he, he Brandon alluded to it, and those guys there every day after practice. Coach, what's my assist to turnover ratio today? First thing they ask, boom. Tell them they care. I mean, they care. You know, they weren't perfect today handling the ball. I thought we got a little bit loose with it at times. Easy to do it against Shannon Scott. He's second in the country in steal percentage. And Kraft's not too bad either, stealing the ball. You know, so you got two guys out there that, are, that can take your ball. Um, so we got to clean those up a little bit. That's probably the next part of his progression. Jamal Walker has done an incredible job with him. You know, the first week of practice till now, it's amazing. It's really similar to Nana. You know, and I've said all along, I think those two guys have a pretty high ceiling and can keep getting a little bit better. Got to keep coaching them. Um, Tracy wants to be good as well. Tracy's competitive. I think his best attribute is his competitive toughness. Last question. We talked a lot about DJ the other night. You got a few to go down and say, what did it feel like to see him have some success? Well, I was happy for him. He's another guy a little bit like man. I like, you know, you know, he's he loves playing for the state school now. I mean, he loves Illinois. Um, it means something to him that he gets to put that uniform on. Um, and he's a great teammate. And to be honest with you, Marcus, I'll be honest. You know, I'm tired of him making a big deal about his deal. And he's going to keep shooting because I'm going to tell him to keep shooting. He defends, plays the other team's best guy almost every night. Hardly anyone talks about that. He rebounds. Okay, it's not like he's an above the rim athlete. He screens, he dives on loose balls, and he plays to win. And I'm not trading him. Okay, I love that kid. Next question. Last question, anything else?